Welcome back guys, um, I'm here with another video, uh, last time you guys saw I did my rear uh, struts on my car, and I'm going to do the front ones now, it's been about uh, say two or three weeks since uh, I did the rear ones, and it rides great, um, mainly I didn't do them at the same time just out of sheer laziness, but uh, yeah, I um, also wanted to get that video edited and put up before I uh, did this one. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get uh, to the task at hand here. I'll show you what I started. Um, got the car supported up nice and safe. Got jack stand there. Also got the jack holding it as well underneath on the uh, engine cradle. There it is. Um, took the wheel off. And I uh, got all the bolts that we'll be dealing with today. So that uh, brake line bolts. The... Uh, nuts and bolts for the wheel spindle there's a another uh, bolt up there against the inner fender well for the uh, bracket that holds the brake line or the uh, ABS uh, sensor we have the uh, end link and then the lower end link uh, we're not going to remove the uh, tie rod end or the ball joint in the bottom um, this is a pretty simple uh, thing to do actually it's a lot uh, more simple than the rear just because all of the bolts are accessible up top for the uh, actual strut um, but yeah let's get to removing it I'll go ahead and uh, crack these bolts loose over here and uh, get this removed um, get those out of there and uh, pretty much get the entire strut cartridge out and I'll sh I'll be back in just a bit um, we don't need to I believe we don't have to remove the spindle nut here um, to, holds the CV axle in, but I could be mistaken, but everything uh, should come out pretty easily uh, without uh, disassembling the brake system as well as the actual CV uh, and uh, the tie rod. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started on this and I'll be back in just a bit show you how uh, I get this all done. I'm back. All right, guys. So I'm back here. And this is what I've done so far. Got those two out. So this is nice and free. I got this out along with this guy. And then this is also free. That goes all the way up there. That's all nice and loose. Also got my end link out. It was pretty easy. I did use the impact on it. Um, got this outside nut at least spinning and then on the inside I was able to jam one of these allens in there I don't think it was the number four I think it was number five actually I oh, get that to focus yeah pick this it's not sponsored but I picked this up at Harbor Freight great little set for ten bucks did the job um, just the same as the back ones you go in on the uh, inside bolt and then hold the outside one with a normal open end or uh, box end wrench comes right out same with the uh, bottom one just went ahead and um i couldn't hit it with the impact but i did get a nice uh long breaker bar in there cracked it loose it was spinning and uh, since the top was already loose i was able to hold tension on it bending it in a weird angle down here to uh get it to stay still and I was able to just twist uh, the bolt off. I guess uh, whatever has been dripping down here, I think some little bit of transmission fluid kept everything nice and lubed for me. So, um, anyway, this is all loose. Just gonna rock that. Get this to let go. And it will. Might be a little bit stuck. Get this guy in here. There we go. So that's all loose. And we can just pull the shock out now, actually. Um, like you see, braking system is still intact. CV axle nut still there. 
tie rod still there even though I have to go change the boot. Um, same thing with uh, my ball joint. Boot's completely shot. So I'm going to order uh, both uh, tie rod ends and ball joints for both sides. Get those done here before winter hits me. Um, but yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, finish this off. I'm going to go ahead and loosen the three nuts at the top on the strut tower there. 916 so or 14 millimeter. But uh, that's all you need. This will come right out. I'll uh, take you in the garage and show you how to uh, get the uh, actual uh, strut uh, pulled out and changed. Uh, I am going to end up reusing the rubber mount because it's in real good condition actually. Um, the rear ones were sh completely shot because the uh, strut started leaking and um, the oil deteriorated them really badly. But these are actually pretty good shape for being uh, 20 years old almost. Um, and the springs are also in really good shape for being 20 years old. So I'm going to reuse that as well too. But these are the genuine uh, struts in here. Um, these also do have the little paint marks on them. Arrows actually that line everything up. We'll go use those as well. Get it all put back together just like uh, the uh, rear video went. Um, if you have more questions on how I did all this, um, some more explanations in depth, definitely take a look at the uh, video that I have for doing the rear. And uh, that will explain a lot more. Yeah, that's that there. Pull this out of here. And that'll be a nice uh, easy thing to go ahead and uh, get going here. So let me uh, crack these loose and I'll be right back. All right, folks, I'm back. So this is out of the car. It's on the floor in the garage. Got it all taken apart. As you can see, this is a factory Toyota strut. Ooh. Ooh. Made in the USA for my Japanese car. And you can see that it says completely shot. I don't say completely, it's rebounding a little bit. But this is nothing compared to a brand new one. And, um, yeah. But, uh, overall, yeah. It's, uh, 20 years. Quality technically was there. Get rid of that guy. New one's in the corner. But, um, here is Spring. I'm gonna go ahead and clean him up. There's nothing really wrong with it besides, um, I think this is a paint mark by the way, but there was one, there's a little rust spot here, and oh, there's a rust spot up here, I think, yeah, there's another one there, but overall, it's in good condition, yeah, this is a little, little rust spot there, but yeah, I'm gonna still just reuse the spring, it's a 20 year old car that uh, is my daily beater, so I, I don't really care. Um, same with the rubber components. I'm going to go ahead and reuse the seat, the boot, because there's literally nothing wrong with the boot, and it's just a boot. This as well is 20 years old, and um, yeah, it has held up quite well. Um, besides being dirty, it is in great shape. Um, bumper, I'm going to reuse that. I do have a new bearing and mount. So this part's going to be replaced, but the seat for the mount is going to be just cleaned up and reused. I uh, have no issues doing that. And then there's a new nut. I'm going to go ahead and replace that with a new one that came with the new uh, strut. And that's that. So I'll be back in a little bit after I get everything all cleaned up and ready for a reassembly. And I'll show you guys kind of how everything goes back together. All right, be back in a bit. All right, folks, I'm back. Got everything cleaned up. So this is cleaned up, sprayed out with some brake clean. Yeah, paint's a little bubbly, but, you know, it's going to get the job done. Um, you can see the arrow here marking this is out. So this is going to be facing arrow there compared to there. 
and then with the paint mark there. So that's where that's going to end up sitting. But obviously this goes into this. There's also an arrow on this right here, as well as alignment, little alignment deals here to get that through there. Um, my new mount came with a new bearing there, but it did not come with an arrow. Compared to the old one here, if I hold it up there, they're about the same. Um, so definitely going to use that like this, but uh, at least I was able to find the way that it's positioned as well as this here lines up with the way that the stop on the top of the strut was already positioned anyway. So I think that's safe to say that's going to work out fine there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this together. I'm going to get that spring compressed and I'll be back. I got the mount all, the seat all cleaned up, this boot all cleaned up. It's oh dusty still but um, I sprayed it down with uh, brake clean and stuff that came off of it was crazy but for the most part it's clean again so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it same with the spring wiped it down it's good to go um, put this together I'll be back in just a sec I'm back all right guys I'm back so got this all put back together here new uh, mount on the top um, Really used the same insulator. Got the boot in there. Uh, new bearings are in there. Um, so everything's reassembled the way that it needs to be. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this back on the car, get my end link in, and get this put back on the ground. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I am gonna be using snow tires instead of my summer tires, um, just because I don't really wanna do this again. Or pull everything off again uh, when it's cold. I just need to you know, do everything right now, um, as well as uh, give me a chance to uh, feel how the ride is with OEM size tires on this vehicle, just because the ride was a little bit rough, but um, I do have a lot thinner tires than what's supposed to be on there from the factory. So I'll uh, put these back on the car, let you know how everything goes. All right, everyone. All right. so back here got everything reassembled the way that it should be um got that guy bolted back in over there that's all bolted back up nice and tight these uh spindle nuts are tightened down to 120 foot pounds um use a torque wrench on those these guys right here are back in um the nut on that is tightened down to 26 foot pounds um, and then over here, got these guys re-tightened up here too. I tight, I couldn't find a spec for these, so I tightened them down to about 70 foot-pounds. Um, that should be good enough, but uh, I guess I'll find out. Um, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw my snow tire on my car. Take off my uh, other two rear uh, summer tires and uh, call it a day. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the uh, comment section below. I'll go ahead and link um, the tools that I use and as well as some of the parts as well. Um, so you guys can uh, get the same thing done as well to your cars. Uh, again, any questions, please feel free to drop them below. As always, like and subscribe for more content.